Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the localization. So these are some key points that we are going to discuss in this video. So first of all, learn, we will learn some theoretical part about the localization, then how we can declare the localization, configure the localization and use this localization with the routing. So now let's start with the first question, what is the localization? So when you just want to configure your website with the multi language then we have to use the localization so let's say in the india you want to show your website in the hindi and in some countries you want to show your website in the arabic or in the uk or usa you have to uh, use your website inside the english then how you can do that for that you have to set the localization every region can accept uh, 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 different language so that we can provide the different language for the every uh, reason with the help of localization so now let's start with the second point declare a localization so for that we have to go on the coding part so first of all I'm just going to wrap the code wrap the folders and for that just go inside the uh, resources folder and lang folder here you will see en folder that means this is the English right so if you um, uh, I need to use the Hindi language then I have to make another folder which is the hin hi right so just going to write a new folder hi okay so i'm just going to define a file um, for the localization which is here you can see that there's some default localization but i'm not going to use it i'm going to define my own which is the msg.php that means message.php so in this video i'm just going to localize my this space there is a four character Lala, uh, laravel localization news and fork so here I will write the welcome okay first of all just going to welcome.php and here I'm just going to write here welcome all right so when I just use it and now I'm just going to localize the four words so for that I just go on the en folder and message and just write here PHP code first of all So here I just return something, return an array actually. And in the array I can define the key. Let's say welcome, right? And uh, second one is news. Third one, third one is uh, documentation. I think I just misspelled here yep I just I need to use here e simply all right and just make a variable here also and la last one is folk okay and let's make a key for this also so these are the English language so the keys and value are going to be same all right so this is the news and documentation same thing is gonna here and for the forge all right so these are the documentation uh, these are the uh, keys for the English but I have to define one more language to check that how it's working for that I'm just going to make the same name with the file in the in, in the hi folder which is msg.php all right and I just uh, make already some uh, localization because I cannot type in the Hindi the, with this code keyboard but I make I already made the keys here all right and these keys we can use here so the similar thing I'm just going to do here to write here PHP tag and just return here and let's use these keys right so these are the meaning inside the Hindi so we declare we did the two points now let's see that how we can uh, config this localization for that you have to go inside the config folder and just go on the app.js and uh, on the from the top you will see locale here you can see that 
h i is set so let's say i just set here h h i with the replace of e n okay so now hindi language is selected in that so now let's come on the welcome.php and just write here a small syntax for every localization like uh, underscore underscore and just write here msg which is file name dot welcome all right so now let's check it on side the browser now you can see that you got in the hindi but these three are still in the english so let's uh, change them also so just replace the keys with the documentation which is we just mentioned here all right so let's put it them and forge all right so now let's see now now you can see that okay so we just have to remove the english words from here which is directly returned all right so we got that here so now you can see that uh, if i just uh, set here back to the en then they are just directly come on the english right so this one point is also cover now let's think that how we can set the localization in the route so let's say you want to set your localization dynamically because this is the statically uh, configured configured now how we can uh, do it with the uh, con uh, from the localization in, in in some website you will seen that they just write here hi and en and fr language at these language are just changed here that how we can do this for that you just have to simply write here you just have to go on the welcome web.php and just uh, get a variable from the url let's uh, lang let's define here dollar lang okay and here just use simply app uh scope resolution methods uh, let set locale and in the function just pass here dollar length right and now let's see it with the english language uh let's uh, show here en let me check once more uh, i think it, this is not refreshed actually so now let's uh, refresh once more with en now you can see that we got this welcome in the english so if i am just going to write her hi then mm, let me check once more mm, ah, same thing i think still this is the issue of uh, cache so let's uh, write here hi now you can see that they come in the hindi so let's try once more with the english let's try with the hindi okay so now you can see that this is working with the url also so this is the way that how you can set up your uh, localization with the url with the config file so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video